All right, now that we have our panel set up in the software, we're going to move on to building our access groups. So we're going to go to our Aurora software, click on the globe icon, and we're going to go to group setup. By default, we have 16 groups turned on. <laughs> Your multi-housing sites may use somewhere between two to five on average. Sometimes we get more. A lot of times it's just right between two and five. So I'm actually going to turn all these others to no. And it's easier if I just click on one and hit the space bar and the up. Just over and over, space bar up, space bar up. So I keep changing those options from yes to no. And I'm going to leave about five of them one, see how many I actually use. So my first one I'm going to set up here, I'm going to call Resident Common. And that's where I'm going to end up having all my common access doors for my residents, whether it be your pool, your fitness room, your main entry door, stuff like that. And I'm going to call one Staff Common. That's where I'm going to have all my doors that residents don't get in but staff do. Things like the office door, um, maybe the maintenance room, sometimes we'll break that off separately. But that's our staff commons. I'm gonna put one in here called parking. That'll be like my parking garage or my entry gate, something like that. And I'm gonna set one up here called guest entry. Now guest entry is gonna share stuff with resident commons, but I'm setting it separate and you'll see why when we talk about visitor management later in the community software. So I ended up with those. I'm going to put maintenance room in here also. You know, sometimes you want to break off the maintenance room from the staff commons just so that regular staff doesn't go in there. It's only the maintenance people. So I've got those groups set up and I'm going to hit save. Now we've got to actually tell the software what doors belong to what group. So if I click on my people icon and go to group access levels, now you see my groups on the left and possible corresponding doors on the right. So for resident commons, my main entry, it's got an in and out just because the CA150 has two reader ports and an in and out reader. Most of the time you're only using one of them. Um, it's not two separate doors, it's just in and out. I'm going to set that. I'm going to put my parking garage, my pool, and my side entry. And I'm going to give those access 24 hours. I'm going to hit apply and it's going to apply to those. My staff commons are going to be my office door and I can just set it right here 24 hour because staff's automatically going to have access to the resident so I don't need to put that. Parking I'm going to set here separate 24 hour on it. Guest entry my guests are going to be coming in this main door so that's all I'm going to give them access to is that main entry door. And maintenance room, I just didn't label it. We'll say that door six here is my maintenance room. And I'm going to save that. So now we have our access groups set up in the Aurora software. So when we go back into community, we'll be able to link these together. So join us next time to learn all the little checkbox and all the little options you need to actually turn on the integration in Aurora so that it can talk with community.